Um, one of our other dishes we do here is we're gonna do a peanut and ginger glazed uh, fish. Any kind of white meat fish, yellowtail, wahoo, rockfish. Um, I have a piece of yellowtail belly actually right here. And basically we're gonna season it, a little kosher salt, a little black pepper. And okay, we're so we're gonna come over the grill and we're gonna sear this off. Our grill's at about 450 degrees right now. You can hit it with a little canola oil, pan, a little high temperature oil. You're gonna sear it off for about a minute aside. How long? About a minute aside at that temperature, 450 degrees. Okay. James is gonna to explain to you the marinade we make and we're gonna glaze that after it comes off the grill, put it in the oven and we'll plate it up for you. So what I have in here, I put about three tablespoons of fresh ginger. All right, and I'm gonna take uh, approximately three quarters of a cup of sugar because it's gonna be uh, to offset the the saltiness of the soy sauce and the rice wine vinegar. We're going to take about a half a cup of rice wine vinegar. Right. And we're going to take, I think I got some right here, we're going to take a cup of soy sauce. Half cup? A, one cup of soy sauce. One cup, okay. okay. We're going to throw all, all that in there together. Okay, we're going to take some peanut butter. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> peanut butter is a uh, I love it. Is is a really good thing. That's probably about a half cup of peanut butter right there. Okay. All right. So then we just get some uh, some oil. I'm gonna go about two cups of oil. And I got a bunch in this squeeze bottle right here. Two cups of oil. Two cups of oil. Okay. A lot of people have these in their kitchens nowadays, an immersion stick. And we just get that going in here. Pretty much done. So, I think it tastes great. Right. <laughs> so now we're gonna go back over to Kenny with the fish. And uh, so after that dressing's made, after you seared your fish for about a minute aside, you take a little bit of ladle of that, and drizzle it over, coat it nicely. You're gonna go into a high temperature oven for a very short period because the caramel, the sugar will burn if you do it for too long, but you want that nice caramelization on the outside. Short period, how long? This is at 450 degrees. I would say three minutes. This is also a convection oven, a commercial convection oven. So at home, I would say 500 degrees okay. for a few minutes. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, that's so good. there's a big difference in the <laughs> cooking times on the different so times. Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay, so after we've had this in here for a few minutes, typically how we plate it up, a little sticky rice, Calvary's rice or sushi rice. Obviously out the sushi seasoning, right on the bottom of the plate. Any of your favorite vegetables, typically we would put some bok choy right here. Something like that, bok choy, zucchini, sure. some grilled green onions, something that you'd like with fish and rice. Yeah. We have our uh, grilled seared uh, yellowtail that we put the peanut sauce on. It's been kind of caramelized. Take that out. So you would put your vegetable right on the bottom of the rice. You would take the, your fish. Then we also have a nice textural topping here of some fried zucchini carrots and fried wonton strips and we'll put that right on top of the plate right on top of the fish just like that and then you can take a little fresh cilantro which adds a nice nice freshness to the dish and then you can actually take the dressing you made earlier that James described like that and you can drizzle it right around the plate for a little extra flavor there you go, that's one of our dishes we do here on the Real Blairs. And what's that called? Uh, it says uh, ginger peanut grilled fish. Yellow tail. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, any I'll white meat that. fish, any white meat fish. It looks darn good. Nice job, guys. Thank you. All right, let's go eat. Let's go eat.